Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders. If you want to see more videos like this one, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. The fancy YouTube algorithms will rank us higher and enable us to keep making great content for you. Thank you for your time, now let's get into the video. Okay coders, welcome back to our simple scripting series covering several types of functionalities within Unity 3D. In the two most recent videos, we covered lerping and slurping objects in our games. Now in this video, we are going to cover something a little bit different, but it still involves lerping. This time, we are going to look at the scripting needed to lerp the color of an object over time. So let's create a new cube in our scene here. To do that, I'm just going to click game object, 3D object, cube. Let's zero out the positioning on this guy. We're going to move it up a little bit, and we can just leave the defaults for now. I also need to create a new script, so right-click Create C-sharp script, and we're just going to call this Color Lerper. Now we're going to go out to our IDE and open up this file. Okay, so now that we've got our file open here, we need to create a couple of variables. So we're going to create a public float speed. We're going to set that equal to 1.0F. We're going to create a public color. Uh, we're going to call this one start color and a public color end color. And finally, we're going to need a private float start time. Okay, inside of our start function, all we have to do is say start time is equal to time dot time. And now inside of our update function, we're going, we are going to create a new float. So we're going to say float t is equal to time dot time minus our start time times our speed. And now we're going to say get component. And the component that we want to get is the renderer. And we also want to dive down a little deeper, so we're going to get the material dot color, and we're going to set that equal to color dot lerp start color as our first parameter, end color as our second parameter, and finally, for our float, we're going to pass t. Okay, so that is a really simple script. So let's go ahead and save it. We're going to go back out to our scene, click on our cube, and drag in our color lerper. Now I'm going to leave the start color to this black and let's just create like a really vibrant blue here. Okay. I'm going to leave my speed set to one for now and let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Let's press the play button. Okay, cool. Immediately we can see that it changed to the blue color. If I stop playing, it goes back to the default color. So let's watch that happen one more time. Again, it's just going to fade in and change that color. Let's speed it up a little bit and see if it changes a little more quickly. All right, that was definitely faster. Okay, so now what we're going to do actually is make this repeatable. So let's go back out to our script here and we're going to create another public variable. We're going to create a public bool repeatable. And we're just going to set that to false initially. And then inside of our update function, we're going to say if not repeatable. There we go. If not repeatable, we're going to do what we already have in here. Now we need an else statement. I'm going to try to keep the current formatting they've got going here. And inside of our else statement, we can actually just copy what we already have and paste it. And all we really need to do here is wrap all of this inside of a mathf.sign function. Now let's save that and we're actually going to see what happens now. So let's go back out to our scene here. Wait for it to refresh and now we're going to check repeatable and we're going to press play. And now we can see that the cube is in fact changing colors up to the blue and then back down to the black. Now let's play with the speed and see what happens if we change the speed. So I've upped it to 11, so now it's just going to boom, just very quickly fade in, fade out. So let's change that down to like 5. Still occurring pretty quickly here, but that's okay. So this is something that you can do with a lot of objects. Um, you, know, you can lerp a lot of different things inside of Unity. They make it really easy to do this, which is awesome. 
Okay, so that is just a really short, simple script that we can use to change the color of objects. You could create this script and attach it to any number of game objects and very easily change the color of them very quickly. And of course you can repeat the color changes taking place. We can also set this up to occur on triggers and things like that. I'm not going to set that up in this video, but let me know if you'd like to see us set something like that up and we can certainly do that. We are of course going to continue developing on this series just covering very simple scripts showing you how to do some things in Unity. If you're enjoying this series, be sure to drop us a like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.